Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of February. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, so I still get people that don't get that, and you can tell by their comments below they write something stupid, and when they write something stupid, it's like they didn't realize the reading wasn't for them. But whatever. I know you guys, I don't know why I'm telling you that, because you guys are very intelligent, but anyhow, um, it could be the cross watcher. <laughs> sorry, sorry, you know, I can't stop myself. Anyhow, I'm going to get you and the other person, okay, so, but you pick a side. I know people, some people are commenting, it's reversed. <laughs> Okay, we got two sides here. Pick a side. Pick a side. All right, pick a side. Um, I tend to choose a side when I'm talking. I'll say, "Oh, I think this side is you." <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm not God. I don't know for sure. I'm gonna do something special for you guys, which I didn't do for the other people. It just came to me while I was sitting here, and when something comes to me, I go with it, and that's the way it is. So. Um, we're going to use, we're going to get one of these for each side. So, what do we got for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini for February for them and the other person? Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. We have somebody on this side that needs to trust. They need to have faith. I'll zoom that in just one. Well, I'll zoom it right now. There we go. We'll fix it after. So this person needs to trust. What about on this side? What's this person need to do? Or what's going on over here? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So we do have somebody here that needs to uh, open up. And they're getting to know somebody, whether it's you or the other person. And that you guys could be getting to know each other, but it is deepening a bond. I also feel like we have somebody here that needs to release their ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And maybe, you know, this could be one person even. You need to take this, reson this reading however it resonates with you. It looks as though we have somebody here. Maybe it's both people that need to have faith in each other. It is time to move on. For somebody and get to know somebody else and and there could be trust issues because of the past all right so let's just stick this over here and let's see what comes up what do we have for gemini for february now this could be at any time in february we'll get this is being recorded in january this doesn't resonate it's not february yet and there happens to be, what, is there 29 days this year? So, I uh, keep that in mind. So, what do we have for, for Gemini? Moving on. Moving on. Moving, moving to a better place. Moving towards something you can trust. Ooh, now this is the Six of Wands. I mean, we have two sixes right off the bat. This is the journey to balance and harmony. This is like a hero. This is somebody who's been through the battle zone. This could be somebody coming to the rescue. You notice we have somebody here that um, is leading somebody to a better place. So there is, it's like somebody is coming to help. Somebody is coming to help. They're coming to help somebody regain trust and it's hard to trust whoever this person is this person is a warrior we have a warrior here this is somebody who has fought and they have fought through a difficult situation and they've they've been victorious this is somebody who has experience interesting a celebration. You could, if you haven't met this person yet, say you are single and you are watching this. Uh, you may meet this person at some sort of party, some sort of celebration. Oh, and I wanted to tell you that before I did this reading, I picked up this deck, and I was I was wondering I was I was going back and forth as whether to use the Angel Romance or this deck, and I cut it and I cut it to Serendipity. Okay, so now I'm going to mention that because Serendipity could be this right here you could meet somebody suddenly and if you are a feminine watching this and you are single 
whether you're single or not, serendipity is a, uh, it's like a fortunate accident. It's, but it, it, it's like when you run into somebody out of the blue and there's this connection that is weird. Okay. It's undeniable. Um, if you were the feminine watching this, you, you could run into a dark haired individual, dark hair, haired masculine, and, and even if you're in a same-sex relationship, I think there's a dark-haired masculine. If you are the feminine, you may run into a blonde, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, anyhow, but trust, the situation is calling for you to have faith. So you pick a side, whichever reading is for you or whoever you're dealing with. Somebody is moving into a situation with somebody that they will need to have faith. Okay, have faith and trust that this person is noble. Okay, um, you may meet this person at some sort of gathering, some sort of party. Um, you may meet them through social media. You may meet them through a friend. It could be a friend of a friend. Um, this is uh, having fun. This is socializing. Let's get some from over here. Four over here. This is an independent person. We have an independent person over here that is single, is doing very, very, very well. Not wanting to rush. This person doesn't want to rush. May have been knocked down by somebody who uh, didn't care if they hurt them. So we have a person over here that is interested in getting to know somebody. It's like, okay, that's fine. We can get to know each other, but I'm not sure if I trust you. I'm not sure if I trust you. I'm just trying to get it so you can see it a little bit better. So we, we definitely have trust issues. And that's funny that trust is over here. Interesting. Because whoever this person is, this person is independent. This person probably works really hard, focuses on their business, focuses on their job, is quite content being alone, and doesn't trust because they were with somebody that hurt them. You know? But I think this person is interested in getting to know each get getting to know another person, and they're interested in deepening a, deepening a bond. But they still may be fearful. Okay, interesting. Ooh, now we definitely have a beautiful individual over here. This person is beautiful. This person is graceful. This person needs tender, loving care. Needs somebody to be gentle with them because they have been hurt very badly. That's what I see. I feel like we, with whoever is on this side, whoever you're dealing with, if this is your side, the person over here. Is, it's almost like this person is very strong. They've gained strength. They've gained... Uh, they've had to find their ability to be independent. And they've gained strength through a difficult situation. They have. Interesting. Mm. Ooh, let's get the rest of these real quick. Okay, so we, uh, this over here, we have somebody that wants to move very quickly, wants to get this show on the road, right? Headed in very fast. This person is moving very quickly. It's like they have arrived. They have arrived. They've, they've, they've been through some sort of situation and they've, they've, they've been through a battle zone. They've been through some sort of, uh, well, you think this is somebody who's been through war, been through uh, a trial of some sort and passed. This person has come out on top and is now coming to rescue. It's like this person is coming to this person's rescue. Even though this person doesn't feel like they need a rescuer. This person has their guard up. This person is afraid. This person is afraid. It's like they want to guard their heart. That's what I feel. Um, if you are in a coupled relationship and you are watching this, I feel as though whoever you're dealing with is a little guarded, but they do want to deepen the bond. And you're going to have to have faith and trust that their guarded behavior is because they were hurt. It's because of the past. And you need to, you just need to give them time and, um, 
you need to be patient. I think that you need to be patient with them. They will open up to you. If you are in a coupled relationship, I think that, that things are going in the right direction. I do. I think whoever you are dealing with is noble. I think that um, you're going to have to trust and you're going to have to have faith that things are going to work out if you're in a coupled relationship. I don't think that the, any, but the person that you are dealing with is has intentions of hurting you. I don't. Um, although, although, I mean, this could go a different way. Because over here, I mean, this could be somebody that doesn't care who they hurt. And there is a, a couple of different people here. Somebody could be getting to know somebody new. Somebody is getting to know somebody new. Whether you are single or or you are in a relationship. And say if you've been in a relationship for a while, you know, it. you, you are going to be getting to know this person for the rest of your life. I mean, you are. I mean, that's just the way it is. Um, but we do, this is like, somebody is not telling the truth or they're not speaking up. There's, there's a lack of communication there, or there could be a miscommunication here. There could be a lack of understanding. I think we have somebody on this side that is protecting their heart. I do. Interesting. In February, let's, let's get back to what is going to happen in February. I feel like we, and this is moving towards balance and harmony. This is somebody coming in. This is somebody that is entering this single person's life. Okay. We have a single person here. And whether you're in a coupled relationship or not, you could be dealing with somebody that runs into somebody like serendipity and they have this instant attraction. I'm just, I'm just telling you what I see. It feels like we have somebody here that is going to be getting to know somebody else. Okay. That's what I see. This person is single. Um, they're not really looking, but they run into, they do. They, somebody is going to run into, to another person and it's like, there's an attraction. There's some sort of attraction here that is undeniable. And I think we have this person over here that, that is like, you know what? I know. I know that this is the one. I know this is the one. But there could be, you know, the Ten of Pentacles reversed is is a unhealthy relationship or an uncomfortable home life or an uncomfortable home situation. This is uh, leaving the home. Somebody could move, be moving out of the home, and I and I know that I'm switching gears, but this is moving, and this is moving out of the home, and this is moving, and this is out of the home. So there could be move, there could be changes in the home. Somebody could be moving into a home. There's changes in the home. Okay, somebody is definitely moving. They could be moving to a new area. It's like they just they move to the area and they run into somebody, and it's like. You're the one, you know, I don't know where that's coming from. It feels like there's, there's some sort of travel indicated here. It's like somebody travels, they travel to, maybe they travel to a, a party or some sort of wedding or it's an anniversary party or it's a get together and they end up, they end up moving. Oh, I, that could be the case, something like that. There could be some sort of, somebody's moving to a new area. They have a new tribe. They find a new tribe. They find a new group of people. Um... You could meet somebody through a group, okay? Because there's some kind of group situation here. And there's some sort of... Uh, it's unexpected. I do feel like it's unexpected. I think there's a sudden arrival or there's a sudden meetup, okay? There's a meetup of some sort that brings two people together um, in February. And I think that... This person over here has just gotten out of it or they're, 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 they're getting out of a relationship or they've gotten out of a relationship and they're moving. There's, there's movement here. They're moving. Which is interesting. Now, over here, this is this person is getting to know somebody new. 
They they are very independent and they are very loving and kind. We have a very loving and kind individual over here who is very gentle and compassionate. This person may not communicate much because they're protecting themselves. I feel like we have somebody here that is protecting themselves. And and they're and they're going to need tender loving care. This person is has been independent. And is probably afraid to open up their heart, even though they want to. I think this person wants to open up their heart. Um, interesting. Ooh, we have somebody here that has been heartbroken. They have been heartbroken and they have been through a painful separation. And that's why they are afraid to open up their heart. So I think that we have somebody on this side that is, is fearful of getting their heart broken again. But deep down, they really want a relationship. That's what they want. So if you are the single person that has been uh, living your life, you're doing very well, you're stable, you're solid, you're self-sufficient, you're strong, you're strong. You've already been through this heartbreak. I feel as though you have somebody coming into your life that uh, really wants to have a relationship with you. And they do not have intentions of hurting you like the last one did. But I think that this person over here that has been really hurt is very fearful of, of getting into a relationship. But I do feel like um, with... I feel like with a lot of tender loving care and a lot of patience, this person will open up. Let's go back over here. This person that is wanting to progress, wanting to move forward, wanting to help this person to heal. I feel like this person is probably may, may ask them to go out for drinks, is definitely going to communicate, is definitely going to pursue. So this is the pursuer over here. This is the, pers pers the person that is going to pursue. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be anybody. Could be water. Could be whoever this person is. Could even be an air sign. Whoever this person is, this person um, doesn't want to be alone anymore. I feel like this person wants to definitely move. Move. They want movement. They want things to happen. They don't want to. They're going to send a message that they're probably going to send an invite. They're probably going to invite somebody out for drinks. Or they're going to invite them out to dinner. They're going to. Invite him to go for a ride, whatever the case is. We have somebody over here that is going to pursue this person, okay? Um, and it's like they have, it's like they, it's almost, I feel like this person just knows. It's like they know. If you take a look at this card, it's like, I know. I know. And I feel like there's like an angel that is bringing these two people together. I do. I do. This, this is like Cupid bringing two people together. Um... This person is wanting to make progress. They are not going to give up. They have they're ready, go, they're going to fight. This is a fighter. This person is going to put in a lot of effort to get this person to open up. So, Gemini, I think that you should be prepared to be receiving text messages. You're going to be maybe even phone calls. You're going to be pursued by somebody. Somebody really 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 wants to communicate with you. I think this may be your side. I'm not sure. You may be the pursuer, whichever side you are. I see communication. I do see things moving forward. This person is like, this is going to be successful. I'm going to make it successful. I am not going to give up. And I feel like what happens is, is, is that they see that somebody is in a troubled situation. They see that somebody is in a... They see that this person has been hurt. They, it's like they... And I'm coming to the rescue. I'm 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 going to take care of you now. That's what I feel like this is. Um So, but there's a lot of fear here. I think there is definitely fear of of getting hurt. So, we do have a very independent person who has their guard up. This person doesn't need anybody. They want somebody, yes, but they don't need anybody. 
Um, but I do feel like Gemini, especially if you are single, you are going to be getting to know somebody that you did not even... You, you're probably like, no, I don't want to. But this person is not going to give up. It's like, you know, we're going to get to know each other. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to I'm going to prove to you. OK, I'm going to prove to you that I'm not going to give up. So the same if you're in a coupled relationship, if you're in a coupled relationship, I think that and, you know, and maybe if there's been some sort of miscommunication or there's been a misunderstanding, I think that you're going to work through it. I do think that you're going to work through it. If if you are the Gemini and things are going bad, I mean, somebody could be moving. I mean, there is moving here. There is. This is moving and this is moving. And, and perhaps after you move, you know, you run into somebody that you are attracted to. Because there is some sort of movement that leads to towards attraction. This is the rods of love. It really is. So, Gemini, I think that... Uh, you should be expecting things to head in the right direction. Whatever is happening, it's headed in the direction of love by the looks of things. And, oh my God. Absolutely, it it is. Okay? This is a commitment. This is marriage. It could lead to marriage. If you're already married, this is happiness. It's like this is extreme happiness. This is right where you want to be. This is everything is good. Okay? If you are single... If you are, or if you're, in, if you're in the beginning of a relationship, maybe you're going to get proposed to, or you're going to meet the one. And, and like I said, you can meet this person at an anniversary or a wedding or a gathering. There is, or a party or something like that. There is some sort of get together or group situation where you run into somebody and you're just like, hmm, or they are, or they are, they might be like, that is the one. And that I'm not, that's the one. This is the one. So yeah, that's what I see. Good luck, Gemini. Uh, happy Valentine's Day.